Today, I'd like to talk about why you can't improve your technique. Think of your thumb and pinkies as the columns of a house. If these two fingers collapse, then the whole house will collapse. So these two fingers are most significant fingers of fast and accurate playing. You have to be really careful, especially when you're using fourth fingers and then the fifth fingers. These two fingers are intertwined. The nerves of these two fingers are intertwined. So it's very hard to play even and independently. But you have to keep trying. Some students, they say that it's too hard. But it doesn't mean that you stop trying. You still need to keep trying. And once you try for a long period of time, you're able to do it. So do not lay down your pinkies. This is the wrong way to play. All right. So you're able to play fourth and then the fifth fingers independently and evenly. So stretching fingers and keep trying. Okay. So how can you correct your flat pinkies? You better practice fourth finger and then fifth finger together in order to correct your pinky. So you keep it curved and then stretching fingers. So try to do this exercise in order to correct your flat pinkies. So you don't end up playing with the flat fingers. Moving your wrist up and down, right? It will cause you to play slower and also unsteady tempo so you just keep trying yeah so you're gonna practice with the fourth finger yeah to correct your flat pinkies all right stretching and then keep your wrist always relaxed right keep your pinkies curved at all time so now let's talk about how to correct your thumb. I see a lot of students, they want to lay down their thumb. And obviously, this is the wrong way, right? And also, they want to curve their thumb. I see a lot of students, they want to curve their thumb. But this is obviously wrong. You always have to keep your thumb perched and straightened. You do not curve your thumb. If you do that, it will cause discomfort and also create tension. Make sure your thumb is always relaxed and you're not holding any tension. All right, keep your thumb perched and straight. And then you better practice with the second finger. Make sure you have dangling wrist, not moving up and down. All right, yeah, so make sure you keep your thumb perched. All right, if you lay down, right, you're not able to have enough space to pass your fingers on their hand, and that's why you have to stand up and moving back and forth. And that's how you slow down and are playing in unsteady tempo. So keeping your thumb perched and straightened is very, very, very important. So one of the main reasons that you can't improve your technique is a wrong hand posture. Make sure you don't lay down your thumb and pinkies when you play on the piano. You make sure to keep your thumb perched because I see a lot of students always curving their thumb and laying down their thumb. Please remember these two fingers are most important fingers to have a good hand posture. So please remember to have a good hand posture if you are aiming to improve your technique.